What's up, y'all? It's your girl, the Tia Rose. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hey, hello. My name is Tia. Nice to meet you. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so whenever I post a new video, you are instantly informed. And by today's title, today we're going to be talking about how to keep him interested, um, how to keep your man interested, you know. And look, y'all, all the advice I give y'all is coming from the heart, you know what I'm saying? It's coming from experience, so I'm ashy and I need some lotion. But, um, yes, yeah, so everything that I'm giving you guys and sharing y'all is because either I went through it or this is just genuine ass advice that I'm giving y'all and that y'all should be able to take and run with it because I will not be lying to y'all. And by the way, I do not have any, I do not have a notebook with me. This is all going off the dome. I'm gonna scoot up just a little bit. This is all going off the dome. So y'all just, if y'all want to write this stuff down, go ahead. I didn't write this stuff down, but this is all what I've experienced, et cetera, et cetera, and shit like that, okay? So if you want to know how to keep him interested, keep him, you know, constantly thinking about you, keep watching this video. So I'm going to be talking about how to keep him interested in the talking stage all the way into like in a relationship. So like how to keep him interested when y'all talking, just start not talking and how to keep him interested when you guys are actually together. Okay. And if I'm looking over here, that means like the camera's over here. So like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. So, when you guys are talking, you know what I'm saying? When you guys are first starting out talking, you need to know how to text back, okay? Ladies, I know we have trouble with texting back. I have trouble with texting back. That's something that I need to work on. But if you want to know and you want to know how to keep them interested, you need to learn how to text back. And that goes into my tip number two is you know you need to know how to keep a conversation. Guys love a girl that can keep a conversation, somebody that, that's not boring, even I hate a man that's boring, constantly asking me, what am I doing? Not actually trying to initiate conversation, constantly asking me. So tell me about yourself. I hate the question, tell me about yourself. Because you're not trying to start a conversation to even see. See, you know what I'm saying? You're not even trying to start a conversation or initiate. You don't even have to always initiate. You'll know when somebody is for you or like... You'll know when somebody's genuinely wanting to talk to you because it just the conversation flows. So you need to learn how to keep a conversation and start a conversation and hold a conversation. Stop giving dry responses. Give full sentences, sis, okay? People love to engage in conversation. You know what I'm saying? So that's another, that's a big tip in how to keep them interested in the talking stage. The tip number three on how to keep him interested in the talking stage is you need to know how to, you need to know balance and boundaries. Okay, so for example, um, you guys are first time not talking and I and I know a lot of guys, they get thirsty, too thirsty and automatically want to do stuff with the girl or automatically claim that girl, oh, that's my girl, y'all barely talked for a week. That's not your man if y'all was talking for a week, you know what I'm saying? Do not ever claim a dude and y'all talking for a week. So, that you need to know boundaries. Do not give it up after two days, okay? It's too easy, it's too thirsty, and you're giving him the goods already. I'm not saying that's the goal at the end of the day is to have sex with the other person, but I'm saying that's something to look forward to, and that's a plus. You don't want to give him that, and then, oh, it's nothing else to chase. You know what I'm saying? There's, that scared me. There's nothing else to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? She already gave it up. What else? You know what I'm saying? So unless the person genuinely cares about you, but you know what I'm saying? Do not give it up on the first day. Not even the second, not even the third. Make him wait for it. And he will wait for it if he really likes you. Um, Do not claim him in a talking stage. If you guys are talking to see if you guys are meant for each other, to see what you guys like and dislike in that person. So... A tip to keep him interested. Give enough information about you, but not too much to where he knows all about you yet and if nothing else to find out. So, that's probably giving too much. So, telling you're talking too much. You're not letting him talk to you. Guys love a, converse, guys love a female that can listen. 
and you don't want to talk too much to where you're giving too much of yourself already so there's nothing else to look forward to like i just said previously so you need to make sure to keep him interested to give him give enough to keep him thinking what's next or well, what else does she like or what happened after that you have to keep him thinking um give enough to make keep keep him being you know being mysterious about you you want to keep him thinking about you that's the goal that is the goal to keep him interested and you need to keep him thinking about you okay so in the talking stage those are the most important tips that you need to do to keep your man interested okay so further down the line y'all get to know each other more it's been three months already in y'all had a good two three months in it's, it's been a good decent amount of time right so now y'all getting public you know what i'm saying because in the talking stage i feel like you shouldn't go public only because you don't know if that shit is gonna last so now y'all going public people are starting to see you you know what i'm saying y'all starting to be out more so how to keep them interested right at the end of the day i'm not saying looks is what matters but at the end of the day he probably or she probably came up to you because of your looks. Let's be real, guys. You're not going to come up to an ugly ass person and ask for the number, right? Right? No. We go off of looks first. That's the basic human nature. We go off of looks. We, we are attracted to good looking things. So that's the first thing we look for. Then we look for personality. Then we look for character. If you have a shitty personality, your looks are already shitty because your demeanor overlooks your physical you know what I'm saying? if you get what i'm saying if you get what i'm saying comment below if your demeanor is ugly you're ugly but at the end of the day human nature is we look at we love looking at good looking things so at the end what i'm trying to get is your man probably came up to you because you looked good right so now y'all used to each other y'all going public you want to keep that image to you i'm saying that because you want to be fine for his image sis you want to be sexy as hell for his image you don't want to be going out there looking busted and rusted and crusted like you don't care about yourself because guys hate that they want a female that makes them look great you know what i'm saying comment below if i'm right i know i'm right that's the crazy part about it you know what i'm saying guys love a female that looks good that's postable you know what i'm saying that's confident so you need to keep apart with your looks you need to look pretty I'm not saying get your face done every freaking day. I'm not saying be a Barbie every single day because we're not perfect. We're not pretty every day. We That's human nature. That's the human nature. We don't feel pretty every day. We have those days where we feel unconfident. That's me. But I'm saying you want to keep you want to keep your physical attraction up to part always. And it's just a personal thing, too. I, I want to go around looking good. I want to make sure my hygiene is up to part. You know what I'm saying? Tip number two. In the middle stage of keeping your man interested, you know what I'm saying, Dana Wise. You need to keep apart with your hygiene, sweetheart. You don't want to let go of the. Okay, so say you was working out before you met him, and y'all talking more, y'all getting used to each other more. And now you all of a sudden you just stop working out. What are you doing? No, you want to keep working out, keep that body up to part. Don't lose your health. Do do, do not abandon your health part because you you got comfortable with your man and he's comfortable with your body now no that's it's also a, a self thing you need to keep yourself first you know what i'm saying so that's another thing keep your health up to part men love a female that's all about their health want to look good you know what i'm saying somebody that is physically physically healthy you know what i'm saying that's that's the thing you have to be physically healthy Make sure that your eyebrows are always done, you know what I'm saying? Your lashes. If you don't wear lashes, that's cool. That's cool too, sis. But if you wear lashes, make sure they're pretty. My lashes are messed up right now, but it's okay. We're not going to talk about that. Mind your business. You want to make sure your whole image is pretty and men love that. So that's how, now that's another tip to keep them interested. Continue to look like a baddie. Okay. The, um, the next tip on how to keep them interested is you want to, now that y'all going public and stuff and y'all getting seen i feel like in order to keep that spark there you need to keep going out and i'm not saying y'all need to go out every freaking weekend but y'all want to keep going on dates and y'all want to keep that fire up there because it it just it, 
you get you get used to a person and i know how messed up it sounds but you get used to a person that you get bored with that person and i'm trying to what i'm trying to say is you want to make sure that fire is still there that spark is still there so get dressed up with that person make sure that other person make you feel great still makes you feel great make still makes you feel a woman like a woman should feel like that's what your partner should always make you feel like like you're a woman so how to keep him interested is girl sis you plan the dates you plan the next date that we're going out you know what i'm saying they love that they love when females initiate and plan stuff it's not always it shouldn't always be like oh well, i don't know you choose and i have a bad habit of doing that i have a really really bad habit of doing that well i don't know what should we do like i have a really bad habit of not choosing what i want to do but it's okay because i'm telling y'all that it's the right thing to do choose for yourself they love that pause on the tip video i just want to say how bad i look like that is crazy oh and another thing where is my water i forgot my water i've been drinking a gallon of water well i try to drink a gallon of water every day but it never works out because I always, I'm always working 24 seven and I'm not going to carry this big old gallon of water with me all day at work because that's just not in habit. But majority of what I drink is water and pomegranate juice. Those are the only drinks that I really, 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 really enjoy drinking because they're just so pure. I try to stay away from soda, a lot of juice not good for you and it makes your pee yellow and it stinks so cut it not for me but back to the topic you know let's stay on topic ladies and gentlemen um what was the tip what were we talking about so the second tip is you want to always initiate you know what i'm saying not always initiate but never be afraid to say your opinion and state your opinion and say they let we're going here you know what i'm saying we're eating this they love that so you guys are officially, finally, thankfully, because not a lot of people get past the talking stage. You guys are past the talking stage. You guys have went public. You guys have went out publicly multiple times. Now it's time to be official. Official, official, official. You know what I'm saying? You've kept him interested in the talking stage by not giving him too much, staying low key, not too low-key to the point where you can't contact him, but not being overly too thirsty, not being on him, not giving him you your not giving him too much of yourself to where it's overbearing and he gets tired and used to you. You didn't let him hit it easy, okay? You made him wait for the fee, okay? The cute cat. You made him wait. Um, you guys went out multiple times, you guys dressed up, you guys did all the good things, right? So now you guys have finally been in a relationship for a decent amount of time and you want to know how to keep your man interested in the relationship now. You kept him interested in a talking stage, in the middle stages, and now you guys have been together for a decent amount of time and you want to know how to keep that spark there. Well, sis, I'm going to tell you the real and raw way to keep him interested when you guys have been together for a long time. Okay, you went through three stages, now it's the last time. Sis. Get some new hairstyles, get some new hair, hair dudes look different. Let me explain, because you're probably thinking at me like, what is he talking about? Never get bored with yourself. And I know a lot of females get used to this, or a lot of females get, they, they go through this. But never get bored with yourself. Make that man think that he's dating a different person don't make the goal is not to make him bored so look you need to get used to getting your hair done as a female should getting your nails done different styles gets and it's and also i feel like it's a personal thing too you now a lot of people like routine but i like switching it up sometimes sometimes i might get a different hairstyle than i'm not than i'm not used to you know what i'm saying so it's it's also good on your part too to try different things but like i was saying for the sake of this video and for the sake of your man you need to try new things so get a new hairstyle you never tried box braids before get some box braids you've never had somebody install a wig on your head get a wig and i promise you when you you always rock the things that you wear you always rock the things that you wear so no matter what you got on 
and you show your man that you, it looks good on you, he's going to love you for that. And that's how you keep him interested. Number one, you need to show that man that, hey, I'm not bored with myself. I'm a different person. Every time you see me, I'm not the same Tia. Today, you're going to get Tiara. Look what you're saying. My hair is in a bob today, babe. My name is Tiara. And if he ever get bored, you know what I'm saying? See other people. Break who? No. Show up at that man door with a different hairstyle, with a different wig, with a, di with a different nail set on, okay? Just, that's just physically and how to keep him physically attractive to you. Second tip on how to keep that man interested is you need to wear some sexy clothes. You know what I'm saying? Wear some sexy clothes when you guys go to bed or when you guys go to bed. Before you guys go to bed, like on a good day, like say like it's his birthday. And usually before you guys have sex or whatever, you wear blue or red lingerie. Girl, sip on that light green. Especially if you are a dark skinned woman, I feel like light colors look great on their skin. So if you pop on a bright yellow lingerie fit or like a bright green, girl, your man is gonna be like, damn, babe, like I ain't never seen you wear that before. And that's the key to keep him interested. You need to be spontaneous and you need to be different. You know what I'm saying? Don't be the same person like he was in the beginning. And I'm not saying don't, don't decrease your love or don't decrease the effort. I'm saying don't be the same girl that you was physically and you know what I'm saying like y'all know what I'm saying don't be the girl that you was when you first met him make sure that he's like look make sure you tell him and let him know show him rather that look I'm not the same girl that she was in the beginning okay I'm a better female get better when you date a man don't never don't never 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 make a man forget who the f you are that's another tip to keep him interested never never let a man forget who you are be that boss that you were when you met him, okay? I'm gonna give y'all one more tip on how to keep your man interested in the, the serious stage, the last stage, okay? The last, last stage. It's to always be true to yourself and always be honest with him. That is the final and last tip that I can tell you guys on how to keep a man interested. It's to show them and remind him that you have him, that you are down for him. Can't nobody say I'm lying. Comment down below if you think I'm lying. If you are a man and you comment, if you are a man and you're watching this video, comment below if you think that I'm lying. Men love to hear. And it also goes to play with actions. You have to show him, you have to let him know, hey, I'm always going to be here for you no matter what. No matter what happens, I will always be here for you. And you, have, and you have to show that to him. You have to, and he has to know deep down that, when I met you, you were always down for me. You never hurt my heart. You never broke my heart. And even if we did go through shit, we've always bounced back. That's real love, no matter what. So you need to constantly remind him. They love reassurance. I don't care what a man says. They love reassurance. They love to be told that I will always be down for you, no matter what. And that's how you keep a man interested. Y'all, these were tips that were coming out through my brain, through my skull. These are tips that I've used and it worked, what I've been through and it worked. And I hope you guys take it and you learn from Tia, you know what I'm saying? And let me know, comment down below or DM me on my Instagram, okay? I'm gonna go right here and follow me and text me if these tips worked, okay? But that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And for my new viewers, please hit that red bell down below so when the back goes to the video, you are instantly informed, okay? And like I say in all my previous videos, I will see y'all in the next video.